Hi, I'm Madam Pamita, and this is Madam Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a heart to heart spell using our heart to heart spell kit. So, what you get in the spell kit are two heart shaped candles. You get an oil that goes along with those candles, and you get four packets of herbs to use with that spell. What you have to provide are a tray to work on, matches or a lighter, a pen or a pencil to write with, a nail or some other kind of sharp implement to inscribe with, petition papers to write on, uh, a cloth, a piece of cloth or a brown paper bag to put the spell remains in once you're finished, and optionally, if you have pictures, photos of yourself and your target, you can also add those to this beautiful spell. Now, a heart-to-heart -heart spell is used to bring two hearts together when there's some kind of connection, a heart connection, whether that's a romantic connection or family, friends, somebody that you want to reconnect with or somebody that you want to strengthen that connection, the heart to heart spell is perfect for that. Now we have, the spell comes in a lot of colors and we have all different colors for all different situations. For example, you may wanna cleanse the energy between you and someone else and you'd use a white candle for that. You could use a blue candle for reconciliation, a green candle to grow the relationship between the two of you, black candles to protect that relationship, orange candles if you need a breakthrough, yellow if you need more happiness, purple if you want more power in the relationship, red if you want more passion, and of course pink, which is what we're going to be working with today if you want more romance and more of a sweet heart connection there. So what, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using all the things that come in the spell kit plus the things that we brought here. The spell kit also comes with complete instructions showing you and telling you exactly what I'm going to be telling you in this video, but you'll have that with you so you don't have to watch the video while you're doing the spell. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to write our petition paper. So you're going to need two pieces of paper because you're going to write two petitions, but you're going to write those petitions the same in each case. So for example, oh, and by the way, this spell can be for you and someone else, or you could work it on two people, like maybe you have family members that are arguing or friends that are you want to get back together. You can work this on two people that have nothing to do with you and your heart. So this is a beautiful spell for that. So we're gonna write on the petition papers what it is that we're wanting, and we're gonna write the same thing on the each petition paper. So um, on one, let's say for example, we have two people, um, this is Mary and Sue. Mary and Sue were in a relationship. Now they're having a hard time connecting. We want that relationship to connect back up together again. So um, Mary and Sue are back together. And I'll write that on this one too. Mary and Sue are back together. You can write whatever it is that's on your heart, whatever it is that comes to you as your spell, as your petition, okay? So there we have our two petitions. They say the same thing. All right, the next thing we're going to do is inscribe on those candles. We're gonna designate one candle as Mary's candle. So we're gonna write Mary's name on that candle. And we're gonna write Sue's name on the other. Okay. Now we're going to dress that candle with an oil. In this case, we have true love oil for our pink candle. So that will open up the heart, make the relationship more loving. So I put a little drop of that oil on and I'm gonna apply it to the candle in an upward motion. Now, anytime we're bringing anything in, we're going to put the oil on in an upward motion from the base toward the wick like that. We can apply it around the top too. And that's going to help the herbs to stick to the candle. Now, if you're doing a cleansing spell, for example, you're clearing away something negative, then you would put it in a downward motion from the wick toward the base. But in this case, we're bringing in more love, more sweetness, more affection, more of those heartfelt feelings. So we're going to apply it in an upward motion like so. All right, once we've done that, we're going to take the packet of herbs marked number one and depending on the spell kit that you get, you may have different herbs than I have, but if you get the pink one, your number one herb is gonna be marjoram. So we're gonna sprinkle that marjoram on the candle. We can put it along the top, we can put it along the sides if we want, 
But in this case, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the top. All right, now we're gonna take those petitions papers and because we're bringing something in, we're gonna fold them toward us. I'm gonna fold each one. If you need to fold it smaller, you can turn it clockwise and fold it toward yourself again. And then we're gonna place them on the tray. And then we can place those petition, those photos on top of the petition paper. Now, you wanna put Mary's photo under Mary's candle. And we'll put Sue's photo under Sue's candle. Now we're gonna place those candles so that they're facing one another. With our next packet of herbs, the second packet of herbs, this in this case it's gentian, we're gonna sprinkle those herbs around each of the candles. So we're making a circle, more or less a circle, around each candle with those herbs. Gentian is a great, great love herb. Not, we don't see it used too often or mentioned too often, but it's really a beautiful herb for love. All right, so we sprinkled our herbs around each of the candles. Now we're gonna take packet number three and we're gonna sprinkle that herb around both of the candles in a circle. If circle or square, really, it's not that critical. In this case, we have myrtle leaves. So we're gonna sprinkle that myrtle around both candles, in a sense, uniting those two candles and bringing them together. There we go, okay? It's kind of an oval more than a circle because of my tray, but that's all right. Lastly, we take the packet of herbs, number four. You know, as and we sprinkle those around both candles as well. Now, as you're sprinkling these herbs and you're applying those herbs to the candle, you can and should be saying your petition, right? That Mary and Sue are loving toward one another, are happy together, and so on. Now, if you're doing this spell for yourself, you could say, you know, Sue and I, or Mary and I. But if you're doing it for two people, other than you, you can say their names. Alrighty, now on that last sprinkle, you can say that petition again, or you can say it is done. Once you've done that, you take your matches or your lighter, you light each of those candles. Now, if you are working on someone else and yourself, I always recommend lighting the other person's candle first and then lighting your own. As you're doing that, you can say your petition again your wish, what your desire, what you're doing the spell for. Now you wanna let those candles burn while you are awake and at home. If you leave the house or you go to sleep, you can snuff those candles out, don't blow them out, and then relight them again once you wake up or once you're back at home. When the candles have burned completely, take that cloth or that brown paper bag and take all the remains and put them in that bag or wrap them up in that cloth. And then I recommend with a lover spell, if you're working to bring someone to you, you can put that wax in your, um, underneath your mattress, between your mattress and your box spring, or put it somewhere in your house until your spell comes true. Once the spell is complete, you've gotten your wish, you can leave those remains at a crossroads to let them go. So there you have it. There's the, the heart to heart spell that we have on our website, Parlor of Wonders. You can find this spell and all the ingredients comes together with the directions on my website, parlorofwonders.com. I'm Madam Pamita. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you again.